development as far as the latest concerning Israel-Iran conflict is concerned because it is continuing its combat operations that is Israel in Lebanon amid and rapid flare of intentions. Now at least six people have been killed in Lebanon's capital of Beirut in a strike by Israel on Hezbollah targets. So far more than 1,200 people have been killed, while a million others have been displaced in Lebanon in last two weeks of Israeli assault. Israeli strikes were also reported in Syria. And according to reports, among those killed include Hassan Nazrallah's son-in-law, Hassan Jafar Qasir, in a fresh blow to Hezbollah. Meanwhile, in southern Lebanon, Israel lost eight of its soldiers. This is the first loss suffered by Israel ever since it launched the ground offensive in Lebanon. All right, that's the latest that we're given to understand with how this has intensified at the moment. Let's quickly break down those details for you. Clearly, rapid escalation in the conflict is what we're looking at, but Israel has lost eight of its soldiers. In fact, uh, Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, also commented on the matter. Uh, but important to note here that while Israel has lost eight of its soldiers, it's the first casualty since incursion. And Israel has now attacked central Beirut. What we're given to understand is that Nazrallah's family has also been reported dead in Syria. Shinjoy Chaudhary, Times Network consultant, joins me for more as far as this is concerned. Shinjoy, um, thank you very much. In fact, you're joining us from the newsrooms this morning. As we're looking at this particular situation, and of course, you'll help us draw perspective with what's the latest that we do know. Uh, but having said that, how do you see this pan out for the next few days, given the kind of conflict that we're looking at the moment? Well... Israel is fighting in three or four sectors. The Gaza fighting continues. We are mm -hmm. not talking about it too much because um, the Hezbollah issue is actually the most important. Uh, the southern uh, Lebanon, the Beirut area was bombed last night, which basically means that the Israeli forces, air forces, are continuing to get the right information and target the right places. That's one. We also know that the ground forces have moved into Lebanon, southern Lebanon. The, the Israelis have sustained some casualties also. But clearly, the, the infantry war has actually begun. And that's going to be a long one. And mm. it's not going to be particularly easy. Because according to experts, the Hezbollah is the strongest, most powerful non-state military in the world. It was believed to have had 200,000 rockets. Now, that's a lot of rockets. So, also, they, have, they are well defended wherever they are. They are well trained and well equipped. So, it's going to be a bit of a long haul. As far as the Houthis are concerned, you know there are going to be economic sanctions on it. But how successful economic sanctions have been over the past remains to be seen. Hopefully, they will work but we don't know how successful or how unsuccessful they will be. You saw the efforts made to sanction Russia, uh, and yet Russia continues to sell its uh, petroleum uh, supplies to many countries in the world, notably China. So that's there as well. But the thing everybody is waiting for is the Israeli reply to Iran. The 180 or so ballistic missiles were fired by the Iranians uh, less than 48 hours ago. And some damage has uh, been caused, particularly to military installations. Now the question is, when will Israel strike? Because Israel has said they will strike. The question is when they will strike, where they will strike. Will they strike military positions? Will they strike uh, infrastructure? Will they strike oil uh, wells? We don't know as yet and how they will strike. They will either use uh, their air power, uh, refueling uh, mid-air, or they will use their missiles. Both are possible. We don't know what the Israelis will do. So at this point, it is hard to say when they will strike, where they will strike, and exactly how they will strike. But that they will strike is something they have said they will do. Meanwhile, India is making it very clear that India can be a source of communication. If anyone wants to talk, 
If anyone wants to send a message, then India is there. Because India has long civilizational ties with Iran, something India has said again and again. And India has a very strong strategic partnership with the Israelis. So as a result, India may be in a position to uh, send messages, to receive messages, to be the effective communicator. Right, Shunjoy, thank you very much for joining us with all those inputs and also essentially drawing perspective for us given how we're looking at this conflict intensify. Having said that, we leave it at that in terms of the conversation.